Hi, Judy from Rich Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. It's the 1st of April and it is time for Rock 2022 AU. No, it's not an April Fool's Day joke. We are well and truly into the 1st. Um, I was extremely busy at work, so hopefully I'll get this uploaded before midnight. So, we'll review March. March we did, on the 1st, we did Janice Joplin and on the 15th we did Roberta Flack. The idea was to celebrate some awesome women in music to coincide with International Women's Day, which is celebrated in March. There were some great pictures posted of projects, colour combinations and some unique ideas. However, our pictures posted numbers were a little down on the previous month. Um, in February we had 27 and for March we've only got 24. In January we had 33. Hopefully we won't lose too many people along the way. We may actually gain some people who post pictures. So for those who participated during March, your name has gone on the random name picking wheel and I'll do a draw at the end for the participants prize draw for one lucky person. For those who have asked, I'm giving away $25 gift vouchers. If you live in the Northern Hemisphere, I've been doing Amazon vouchers. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere like Australia or New Zealand, I give you the option of Amazon or a Spotlight voucher. Gift vouchers are easy, um, you get to buy what you want and postage is just ridiculous and a waste of money. So that's what we've been doing. So make sure you watch the video to the end to find out who won March participant prize. So what are we going to be doing for April? Well, I had to rack my brain. I wanted to do something a little different. So rather than do one particular artist, we are going to explore a genre of music. And the genre I picked was disco. Da, 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 da. Do you like to dance? Do you want to dance with me? Do you remember how to dance? Yes, disco, the dance music craze. I told the boys to pick an album. I have some awesome disco albums out there and they have picked one, which I will show you. For those of you who aren't really familiar with disco music, I've done a bit of research. So here goes. Disco started as a mixture of music in, from venues popular with Italian Americans, Hispanics, Latino Americans and African Americans in Philadelphia and New York City during the 1960s and early 70s. Disco can be seen as a reaction to the 1960 counterculture to both the dominance of rock music and the stigma of liking dance music. Several dance styles were developed during the period of disco's popularity, including the bump and the hustle. When I chose disco, thing reminded me of something really funny, a little story. We were in the north of WA visiting my older sister. We were engaged. I don't know why we went up there, but we went up there for a reason. And we went out with her and her husband to some function. And I was up on the dance floor with Thing doing the bump when some guy came up, pushed Thing out the way and started the doing the bump with me. Uh, they lived in a mining town, so women were few and far between back then. Um, Thing was laughing. I was like, what well, do I keep dancing? And later, my thing said to me, what was funny was seeing your older sister's face. He said, it is frozen in time, in shock horror. She just didn't know whether to move, what to do. But yeah, he said that was something funny from back then. And yes, we were heavily into dancing back then. A little old now, everything hurts. So that was one of our funny stories from the disco times. Disco declined as a major trend in popular music in the United States following the infamous Disco Demolition Night and it can continued to sharply decline in popularity during the early 80s. However, it remained popular in Italy and Europe, countries throughout the 80s and during the also that time there were other countries where it became a little bit more popular like India and the Middle East where they combined disco with their original folk tracks. Disco would eventually become a key influence in the development of electronic music, house music, hip-hop music, new wave music, dance punk and post-disco. 
Now here's something funny too. My eldest son in London loves this type of electronic music. That's his thing, you know, that dance punk electronic music, hip hop, all that. My younger son is into heavy metal. The darker, the blacker, the heavier, the better. So there you have it. Two sons, two different personalities, two different styles of music they enjoy the most. The style has several newer scenes. I think I've covered that. Um, a current revival has been underway since early 2010 and coming into greater popularity during 2020. When we're all in lockdown and we didn't know what to do, we danced and we found music to dance to. Some of those um, albums that cont contributed to the revival or Confessions on the Dance Floor, which I love, Random Access Memories, Future Nostalgia, What's Your Pleasure, and Kylie Minogue had an album called Disco. Kylie Minogue is an Australian singer-songwriter who lives in the UK. If I can find some of her music on YouTube from the Disco album, I'll put it up there, um, along with some of the songs from the album the boys have chosen for us to inspire our projects. So... What album do you think they picked? I have a few. I wasn't surprised because this was very popular, including the movie that went along with it. Yes, Saturday Night Fever, Staying Alive with John Travolta. But, uh, this is a soundtrack recorded by the Bee Gees for the movie. There's John Travolta on the dance floor. This is the lit up dance floor and the boys. Look, I wasn't a big fan of the Bee Gees when they started doing disco because I didn't like that falsetto squeaky thing that Barry does with his voice. I liked them before disco. I like this album, but I don't particularly like it. some of his work he does with that screechy falsetto. I just don't think it's singing, even though it is supposed to be a tone. But that's our album to inspire us. I'll tell you a bit of info about Saturday Night Fever. It was released in 1977 as a soundtrack for this, the movie around November. It's um, one of history's best-selling albums and it remains second best with the number one top of the list is the soundtrack for The Bodyguard. Who wouldn't have Whitney Houston right up there? Um, what else was there? I didn't do a lot. It stayed at the top of the charts for 24 straight weeks from January to July 1978. Stayed on Billboard's album charts for 120 weeks until March 1980. In the UK, the album spent 18 consecutive weeks at number one. The album epitomizes the disco phenomena on both sides of the Atlantic. and was an international sensation. I guess if I think of one of my favourite bands back during the disco period, it was Earth, Wind and Fire. Now, I did have a vinyl album, but we couldn't find it. And Thing remembered way back before the boys were born that I lent it to a friend and never got it back. And that friend denies having it. But he happens to have a copy of that album, but it's not mine apparently. <laughs> But there you go. I really liked Earth, Wind and Fire for disco music. If I can find some of their music on YouTube, I'll drop a song in the description below. So what can inspire your project? Well, guys, you can break out the glitter yarn and make a disco ball for Amigurumi. I think that'd be pretty awesome. Um, yeah, use glitter yarn because it was very glittery. The cover will inspire you. These lights on the floor actually look like a blanket, don't they? A granny square blanket. And of course, John Travolta could always inspire you. The lyrics of the songs on the album can inspire you. I know one of the um, lyrics of last month inspired Abby to make something. So yeah, get into the music. Dance a little. Tap your feet. It should be fun. Disco is all about having some fun. And if you can't tap your feet or start humming along to it, then you need to get some sunshine into your life. Guys, stay safe, stay well, take care. 
Follow the call of the disco ball for April the 1st until April the 15th. Let's get dancing. Bye for now. Hi, it's time for our random pick of the wheel for our participants prize for March. There are 24 names on the wheel. Good luck everyone. Here goes. Lynette Squires, Charm Granny Crochet. Congratulations, Lynette. My email will be in the description below. Contact me and let me know if you'd like an Amazon voucher or if you would prefer something else. Um, yeah, congratulations, Lynette Squires. Bye for now.